Okay, okay, let me go over the details of the experiment. This is one that anyone can do and hopefully show the same results. What I have here is three digital thermometers and I have a styrofoam cup here with a thermometer stuck down inside the cup to make it somewhat immune to air currents. Here I have a styrofoam cup with a thermometer stuck down inside but I also have some neo magnets and I'll show this whole configuration in part two. Okay, separating the t this cup with the neomagnets from the bottom cup, which also has a matching set of neomagnets, I have a large block of aluminum. This is a double cup. I wanted to be sure that it was highly insulated, so I have two cups, one on top of the other. The bottom's cut out of the outer cup so that it's flush with the bottom of the aluminum, and we don't have a secondary airspace in there. I've also insulated the shaft of the thermometers or the temperature indicator so that uh, the air currents and ambient heat around it don't impact it. Now I let the lab cool all night uh, down to around 56 degrees because it's easier to see this experiment at lower temperatures. But what I want to show you is that it appears, and I've duplicated this a number of times, that NEOs will actually cool if you have the proper uh, structure between them, and in this case this large block of aluminum. Let me show you the temperature on the NEOs that are inside of the bottom containers, 14.8 Celsius. Inside of the top cup we have 15.2 Celsius, and over here in what we'll call the ambient cup we have 16.3 Celsius. There's a one degree differential between the ambient and the one that has the neos in it, but you see that the top is open so that we have some temperature variation because of ambient air getting in there. Now the bottom cup is highly insulated and we're at 14.9. That will change, it'll fluctuate a couple of tenths up and down. But we can see quite readily that we have anywhere from a two degree to a one degree difference and I'm more or less ignoring this one. Now like I say when we get up into the higher temperature range, the ambient temperature range, it becomes harder to discern a difference between ambient and the inside of the cup. Although you still see the temperature differential here with the double insulated cup with the NEOs. So anyway that's, this is setting the stage for it. And what I want to do then is go ahead and show you what the components are inside so if someone wants to try and duplicate it.